Time to piss away everything you thought you ever knew about Turok. Here we go. Joshua? Hi, Danny. Josh, how? The house, the, the explosion, the... Shh. I'm all right. Everything's going to be fine now. I saw you shot. I saw you fall. None of that matters now. Actually, it does. Ah. Ava, no! What are you doing? It's okay, Danny. That's not Josh. Joshua? If you kill us, you kill your brother. Darkness is upon you, little Tarak. The sun's a stone wheel ball this day! That's just fucking shading. So, meet the last boss, it's Joshua. Joshua's a mean motherfucker because he's got that minigun and he's bloody accurate and... If you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, you'll likely lose. As you can see, look at the health. Look at my health. I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me. So, how do you beat Josh? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. You can lay traps with uh, Joseph's napalm cannon. You can skirt around this and constantly get the health of the picks that spawns down here. Or, you can fire the PSG once and do it the really cheaper way. And that's what I'm going to do. And look at that, I've won. Because Joshua, as awesome as he is, can't do shit about the power of Neutron Star. Bye, Josh. Shutting up to the cutscene. Oh, damn it, that bloody thing at the top is there. Uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it. The energy held within these satchels, the energy of creation, nearly destroyed you, White. Now we are gonna finish it. You took our brother. Now you go to hell! You couldn't have done that with a grenade? Hey, sis. I was wrong about my visions, Danny. I know. The child, it was a trap. No, Danny. There was another child. Your child. The child is yours, Danny. You're pregnant. It happened just before Brian died. He never knew we were going to have a baby. He will be special, Danny. Protect him. No, Josh, please don't go. And we win. Yay, two up two music. Credits, once again, sped up as per usual. You know, it's a standard thing that I do. Um, now, those of you who were watching this LP, you'd know that I died repeatedly, often stupidly, and you may remember I was trying to get a no-deaths game because, um, if you do that, you get Josh. Well, a couple of things to say about that. And I suddenly had a memory block. I know this, give me a sec. Oh, fuck. I remember. What I was gonna say is... I'm just too bloody awesome and this game can't deny me. I'm gonna get the Joshua cheat anyway. Yes, indeed. I am so fucking skilled at Turok that the game just cannot deny giving me what I'm after. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up because there's another part of cutscene coming up. So, silence. Our decision is made, Speaker. Your place is here. I can save him. And serve what purpose? His death was ordained, as is your duty to this council. I have served the council since the time of my mother's death. In all that time, I have never questioned its wisdom or its motive. Mind your tongue. You mind your tongue, you tongue Rick. It is your place to serve this council. Nothing more. We will hear no more of this. What a Please, I have to try. For Joshua. Be warned, Speaker. The course you choose now may well determine the future of your family standing with this council. It is the will of the council of voices that you remain here and fulfill the duties that you are bound to that earth. What an arrogant Is this to bunch. be my thanks for a lifetime of servitude? Is this to be my legacy to my mother? I can save him! If the Council will not grant you this reprieve, 
then I have no choice but to defy its wishes. You go, girl. Yes, Council. Oh god, it's Dark she Samus. more insolent by the day. She loves him. No matter. She's a danger to us all. Prepare yourself. Of course, Council. Yeah, go get your face on suit. See? You never died. Never died. I'm telling you guys, I never died. Any deaths you saw in the LP did not happen. They were just bigger to your imagination. However, where's Josh? I should have Josh, but he's not there. I'll tell you where Josh is. To get the Joshua cheat, you have to beat the game on Oblivion twice without dying. Once with each character. Which means I have to do it as well with Joseph. I'll go. I owe that much to Josh. Very well. Know this Joseph Fire Seed. Once the mantle has been passed, with every day you live, also will you die. You cannot come back. The terrain. I love the job with perks. I'll go. It is done. Totally face roll. Took me 30 seconds. Right. Let's never get our way to the cheat menu. And wham bam, thank you man. There's Josh. Play as Joshua. Fuck yeah. It's a cheat that you can't actually unlock just by punching it in. You actually have to get a save game where you beat the game on Oblivion with uh, each character. Anyway, time to show off the big cheat. The big cheat, this one is weird. You actually have to do a combination of two. Here's the first part. This one the first one cheats. And, um... To get the next part, you... To get the rest of them, you punch in this. And this is the big cheat. You can't just punch it in, like, by itself. You actually have to do the first one first. Because if you just punch it in by itself, look what happens. I'll do the exact same one. Rejected? What is that all about? Anyway. Is this shooting again? Just the fucking credits. Five, six elks. Anyway, what do we got? We got invincibility. All weapons. Unlimited ammo. All keys. Plays Joshua, of course. Big heads. No heads. Short enemies. Thin enemies. Enemies that look like ducks. Gasping mode. You see the effects of that. Pen and ink. Uh, Gorad. How the fuck you pronounce that? Shut up, Joseph. Deathmatch mannequins. Menu madness. I agree. Clean screen. I'm still sure what the clean screen does. And you can play at the start of any chapter or from any boss. One, two, five. And of course the credits, which we're not watch again. Anyway, I'm going to turn off all the, uh, all the comical cheats. Uh, so, I suppose you're wondering, what are these two question marks here? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I'm going to turn off the rest of the comical cheats. I'll leave on big heads just for shits and giggles. Anyway, let's go to chapter 5. With uh, Players Joshua active. As I said, the game plays through as though you were Danny. That's why you just saw Danny in the cutscene. The noise just happened there because of uh, big head. But these guys apparently can't have a big head on their mom. Anyway, you may notice I've also got the RPG. Napalm cannon, Napalm cannon and RPG. Joshua gets every weapon. Every weapon. For some reason, he also gets two razor wins, which is odd, but... Well, I'm not about to argue with Joshua. Anywho. Okay, I just figured out what clean screen does. There's no, like, HUD. Now, yeah, time to show big heads. There's one. <laughs> oh, dear. God, look at this gob. It actually, like, lunges forward. Um, there's something else I wanted to show. Oh, yeah. Where's the processor? Possessor. That's the wall. First. Maybe I'll possessor. I can just get a lock. Ha 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 ha. 
Oh, there's a new enemy. There's one. Work, dammit. Sweet. Okay, now despite the fact that I'm playing as Joshua through the Danny game, you may notice I'm not there. I mean, it was quite obvious that I was standing there, but I didn't have a model. That's because there isn't a single player model for Joshua. It actually worked, in, it actually worked for once, yeah. So, um, that's one little... Uh, fuck, what's the word? One little thing about the Joshua cheat. Also, you may notice the pause menu is a different colour now. When you're cheating, it switches from blue to yellow. Uh, I guess it, I guess the game just does that to say, hey, you're a cheater. Um... Do I want to show off anything else? Why not? I'll show off Gorod mode. Man, those are some advanced graphics. Check that shit. Amazing how the life force looked normal, but everything else looks, uh... buggered. Un unshaded. Nothing but straight polygons. Here, here, check this out. Razor Wind? Blade? Razor Wind. Gee, I wonder if that's the I guess so. Alright, that's enough of showing off Gorod mode. Um, what else can I show off? I guess I'll show off Ink. Here it is. But, uh, different chapter. Yeah, let's go, let's go to Lost Land. Oh, white screen. Oh, blue screen. White screen, what the... Okay, I don't think... Okay, maybe if I keep flickering the fucking window by just switching weapon. I can sort of see where I'm going. Let me turn this shit off for I give someone an epileptic fit. Evidently, uh, Penedict mode does not work with the ROM. Oh well. May as well show off shorty. May look funny on the poachers. Um. Oh yeah, I'm playing as Joshua. It's my sniper rifle. Sweet. It also chippifies their voices. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun fucking around with Joshua in this game, but um. So I'm I'm gonna end the, sh the cheat showcase there. I don't even have the full PSG. What's that about? Anyway, so ends this LP. Thank you very much for watching. As I said in the last video, the Turok saga is going to have to be ended here. Because I don't have access to the other the other games. But uh, I will see about LPing them in the future. For now though, I'll have to, I'm going to LP other things. Anyway, this has uh, been Execute. Signing off now. You have a wonderful day and take care of yourself.